Hey, Zim. What? By the way, don't forget to update your icons. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's almost literally just you. It would be Dusty, too, but he doesn't have art yet. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Wow. Insulting. I feel um, insulted. There's salt inside of me. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, Red might, might be a little late today. Just to let you guys know. He needs to Where let us know. Yeah, he does. And, and preferably, you know, before we've already started the stream. Yes, yes I know, I know. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry. I should have mentioned it earlier. Or I should have told him to mention it earlier. Just wanted to let you guys know. Into the wall, the corner of the wall. And oh, it's so. Up. It is so nice to have the stream running. And not have my computer slow down to a crawl. It sounds wonderful. I'm going to go back to as I was saying before, staring up into the corner and thinking about all of my life choices. Wondering into oblivion. Okay, Like, I'm just gonna take a nap and it's like, he's gonna wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow and be like, damn it! <laughs> oh. Now I'm jealous. I should get an energy No, I shouldn't get it. Maybe I should get an energy drink? Guys, should I get an energy drink? Yes. I've got one for yes. No one else has said my no entire so. life lives on energy drinks, so that I may, may not be, be the why best. you have so many health problems, but a good, good, good idea. <laughs> no, my health problems are definitely not associated with the uh, uh, with the uh, caffeine. They're more associated with my brain creating tumors. But okay. thanks for throwing that out there. I mean, to be fair, it's definitely not helping. Because <laughs> let's be honest, a lot of the dietary things that are in modern day America account for a goddamn surprising portion of fucking health problems. When this all days. started, I wasn't drinking any caffeine. Fair enough. I didn't so, say all of it was, by the way. I'm just saying it might be attributing to it. Uh, no, it doesn't. I said it really contributes negatively to health more than it benefits if you drink a hell of a lot. At which point your heart might explode anyways. Okay. I say this as someone who's been criticized by literally everyone but my doctors for my caffeine intake because I need it medically. Good to know. I am not a medical professional, by the way. No, but I'm... you're trying to talk down to me like you are. 
I am also in a hell of a fucking mental state right now. Let's go. Oh, hush, Maki. You know you love him. Who loves what now? Actually, I need to switch over the stream. Zim. Okay, who said what now about me? Because the font it using it, it doesn't uh, support that. Uh, oh well. The the happy face I think kind of drives home the, the the thing. I hopefully. I'm going to drink it and then not be able to sleep in four hours. Greetings! I need to sleep in four hours. Hello. Hey, Red Mike. Redo. You're late. time after the stream we will take care of it those of you who know how caffeine actually functions because I am not smart um, if I drink caffeine right now will I be able to sleep in four hours probably not it's, it's, fuck okay uh, my, you well, could my, just my, drink like well, my a quarter my... to get yourself a boost but my father, my, my father and my grandmother drink half a coffee at night and they sleep, sleep just fine, so I don't know. It depends on the person. Some people are more wired by it than others. Very wired by it. Well, like, at least by energy drink. I'm not wired by most caffeine, but... I would go for, like, a Coke at most. I think it's, like, 250 milligrams of caffeine, Mr. FX Wolf XE. Coke. I don't have Coke. I I think I either have non-alcoholic drinks or literal energy drink beverage. Yeah, I'll just go for a quarter, like Zim said. Nah. Or save it and hope. I will save and I will hope that we can sprint through this. Loki may want to end early today. <laughs> well then, I suppose I better get to work. E. Lo siento. 
All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. I am Rawzim, and this is Tales of Mirrorleth Dungeons and Dragons. I will pass it over now to Red Might. I'm here. Yes. Recap. Oh, hello. Let's see. If I remember correctly, they ended up in this place, found a unicorn, met the nefarious uh, polymorphing wizard. Uh, you, you know, you can, you can talk as your character. Since you recap however he wants. Uh, okay, okay. I mean, he can. I'm just saying. Oh, All this right. is so nice! I'm streaming at 60 FPS finally again. And I'm only using 4.1% of my CPU. Nice. You guys have no idea how nice that is. Considering my old PC was using 90% of the CPU at 30 FPS. Oh, man. Yeah. Sounds well, now you can be a gamer. Do some gaming. Well, my laptop was always good for gaming. It was just the streaming side of things that were struggling. Anyways, right. back to the recap. Let's see, where were we? Oh yeah, once we finally met our <laughs> polymorphing wizard, he literally exploded. No, it wasn't him. He just made a big three-headed dragon, and now that's looming on top of us. Yep. Ready. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't want to see how that goes. Me too. <sighs> Feels good to be a gangster. Anywho, let me go ahead and pull up that map again. Let me remember which map that is. That should be Wizard Tower? Yes. Okay. Resharing the map for everybody to once again familiarize themselves with the scene in question. Magnus, since you are actually here today, since you apparently fell asleep last time, uh, you would be about here in the gardens, taking a nice little stroll, and over here, directly to your left, uh, you see the upper part of the tower explode as three giant worm-like dragons made of something. You can't quite tell. Uh, well, you can give me a perception check, actually. Look, the only thing I can imagine Magnus saying to that situation is, well, fuck. Uh, yeah, uh, Magna, you can easily tell the rest of the party, you can tell, you don't even need to roll. Uh, these, dr these dragon worms are made of wood. as uh, may have been explained the last time. So, pulling up the combat tracker to see what we've got here. Uh, everyone go ahead and reroll initiative, or you can choose to keep your initiative up to you. Uh... Fantasy Grounds crash, I'll be right back. Gosh, dingus darn it. Craig. It got to the loading part and then it crashed. Oh my. Well, apparently, Craig was not in the game. It looks like Steam crashed too. Whoop. Our prominent warriors is having a bit of a issue.
Here we go. Yay. Welcome back, Crag. So we have Magna, Risform, Crag. Graham is not here today, so he's just gonna be off in the corner huddling up. Protecting snowing most likely. Can you reshare yeah. the map if you can? Certainly, I'm just going to really quickly delete his initiative. There we go. Resharing the map of Rooney. Sweet. Thank you. We have Craig, we have Elman, we have Zyre. Hey, that's everyone it appears. We also have the last unicorn sitting there in the corner, sitting on a chair. I'm not really sure what she's doing or he's doing or whatever <laughs> whatever gender the, the unicorn is going to be preferring. It's a unicorn right now, so I don't even think if I don't even know if gender applies to it, let's be honest, it's a unicorn. Unicorns are amazing, thanks. That's me <laughs> Anywho, no, stop they're the dicks. initiative. Magna, you've got enough mind and wits about you to actually react to giant tower exploding and oh crap, there are dragon heads coming out made of wood. Probably not good, but they're made of wood. Well, I guess I need to find a way to get over there because I imagine they're not on the ground floor. They are not. They are very highly elevated. However, there are platforms directly in front of you. Cool. Let's start climbing those. All right, you've got your normal movement speed. I'll go ahead and just shift you a little so you're actually in a square. <laughs> Feel free to uh, move, move, right. move your movement speed. Speed it. I remember it's a little 35, so seven squares. One, two, two three, four. Five, six, seven. Well, uh, you moved two diagonals, so I gotta play you back too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right there. You can, of course, take the action to sprint if you wish to keep moving, or... No, I think I shall, in fact, sprint. One, two. This is a door, isn't it? That is. You may move through it. Okay. Three. Four. Uh, hey guys, what the hell is going on? Dragon, Craig says. Big dragon, lots of heads. Cool, got it. How do we fight that? Craig shrugs. <laughs> well, you see, you take that sword and you stick it in it. Yeah. I'm a bit more of a duelist per se. Not not too great with its uh, narrow corridors and crowding. To be but fair, Magna, at least I'm caught up to speed. Magna, to be fair, you're pretty sure that's almost exactly what Ward would have said too. You know, I can actually see yeah. Ward saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly what Iron Wolf just said. To kill dragons, shoot them till they die. I, I got a sword, man. I got a sword. Well, sure. that just All means dragons. that you clearly have to climb up onto its back and stab it from there. There's a little more thought to this than the captain. I mean, I guess I'll try it. Uh, next turn. <laughs> it is now the turn of the first uh, head that glances around. And, an identified uh, creature. What? It says an identified creature. That is correct. You have not identified this creature. I mean, we can see it. Have you identified it? 
I know enough to kill it. <laughs> g g give me the name of this creature, then. Why do I need the name of the creature to kill it? He, I mean, you don't. He's just saying it's unidentified. He's he's concerned about the unidentified <clears throat> part. I don't need to know who you are to kill you. Well, then we don't need to worry about it being an unidentified creature, then. Exactly. So why are you going on about it? I don't know. Friggin' Elman's asking about it. <laughs> I didn't ask about it. I just, I just Elman, why did you start this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. This is why you don't bring paladins to a party, you know? Uh, they just ruin good. all the fun. Let's see. Unless they are, you know, Nim. I'm gonna roll some dice. Uh, is that a one? That's a one. So it looks over, and Elvin, I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw. Alright. Ah, beautiful. And... to do... You take... 10 damage. Ouch. Oh, that's right. You're not the tank anymore. I keep forgetting about, you know, your afflictions. You need to get that figured out, dude. Uh, but as the creature looks over you to you, it turns its head, and you can hear the creaking of wood with its every movement as it opens its small. But instead of, of course, the normal attack of fire coming out, it instead rains down a splinter, uh, a raining hailstorm of splinters of wood that just shoot Not do, do not hit it with fire. No fire. No. 
Crack frowns. Because it's made of wood. And so that means that we want to hit it with fire. Set everything else on fire. Yes. That's what's going to happen if you hit it. That's why I say no fire. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I got confused with the no fire thing. Your stance is off. Make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, take a 1d6 penalty to your next ranged attack roll. Oh my god. Another critical fumble. <laughs> Craig is off today. Uh, give us another card for that one. Why? That's a saving throw. That's not something that gets a card. Oh, I wanted to have some fun with it, but okay. Craig just falls over. Back into record, that chair. The DC on that was 12. Sorry, what? The DC on that was 12. Yeah. And he rolled time another critical fail. The dungeon awaits. I'm going to blame the bat being in my elbow space. Well, all right, if we're not doing another critical fumble for it, then I'll just say you take a full minus six. Okay. What am I taking? Instead of taking a minus one D6, you're just taking the full minus six because you failed that. All right, that's fair. Any, anything else you're going to be attempting to do this turn? Uh. I don't think there's anything I can do. Okay, then we'll pass the turn. On to Element. Element Ele seems to be upset at looking at the, at looking at the wooden dragon. Uh. You're also up fairly high. It's like a 40-foot drop down from this point as well. Oof. There are no walls anymore, but there are like basically half walls around you. And the tree, the sort of tree branch leading up here doesn't exactly have rails. I see. Oh, Lord. Zim! <laughs> What the mm -hmm. hell? His <laughs> dying spell was critical one curse. <laughs> okay. I, I just wanted to make sure that it was possible for us to not only roll ones. The game is rigged, Sim. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is possible to not roll ones. All right. Dust in the eyes. Your weapon's range is reduced by half for 1d4 rounds. Wow, that really matters here, doesn't it? No. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to edit that one slightly and say that one of the splinters got really close to your eye, and it's just really irritating. Oh no, not my eye again. I just got it back. <laughs> Enemy is just enemy is just going to retreat right now if 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 I can. Uh, yeah, you still have a move action. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. Ah. Right there, make it less confusing. In fact, I'll just remove Snowy entirely. We don't need him there. We're not using him. Graham's having his PTSD little episode. Someone said the bear word too much. Makes sense. He mistook the three-headed dragon for a three-headed bear. Yeah. 
<laughs> that, that's Hydra. too many hits for a bear, man. It's freaking him out. Bear Hydra. Hail Hydra. I said Bear Hydra. Hail Hydra, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anywho, uh, that is the end of your turn, unless you have a bonus action you want to do. Uh, no. Okay. Zyre. Oh, whoop. Oh, sorry. sorry. My apologies, that's my fault. I should have, I should have expected you to have the intelligence to move the combat tracker, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna heal up all in a bit. <laughs> ah, thank you. Quick turn. The next creature sort of looms forth its neck craning out as it just sort of leans in. It goes to do an attack against. Ooh, we got wrist form. Swing with that big old bite. It does do a hit. For some damage. Big boy chomper. And the next creature comes in. And it sort of looms its head over, but can't really do anything because there's still a lot of wall in the way, and its friend in the way. This was a powerful spell, but probably could have been executed much better. Uh, and we're at the top of the turn order with Magna. Oh. Well, that is a narrow bridge. And we've got too many frontline fighters, so I can't really get in there myself. Ridge, it's actually supposed to be like a tree limb, as this is supposed to be a massive tree, but the whoever made this map made it look very constructed rather than tree -y. Very constructed instead, instead of tree like. Yes, indeed. Yes, that's what I said. Tree. -y. Yes. So now I'm just figuring out alright, but where do I stand? to hit it from that is not someone else in space. We're very front Mario, loaded at uh, the moment. Goking, you keep cutting out or fading out for me. I'd fix that. I'm literally just sitting here talking. I don't know if it's my internet or what have you. Are you talking into the mic or something? Maybe turn down your uh, sensitivity? So if I turn down my better? sensitivity, that sounds like it'll happen more often. Okay, turn up the sensitivity. Neener, neener, neener. Okay, one second. Gotta go into my settings and find the microphone voice and video overlay. Then gotta use voice activation activity to... I'm actually determined to put this here. I gotta put it down so that now I do several decibels lower. I can now you're gonna hear every word I'm saying. Hopefully it sounds about. Oh, I gotta hit apply. Don't really gotta. No, there's no apply button. Never mind. I'm just stupid. Um, are we good now? <laughs> is this a, is this a good volume to be to be yeah, operating at? You're better. Sir? All right, that sounds great. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Let's continue the thing around. It's still Magnus' turn. Don't know what he's doing. What else I was saying. We're sort of blocked up at the entrance, and I'm not sure where I could stand to attack the tree, which is not already someone else's space. Then it's time to get good. Yeah, I guess I should have gotten a bow and arrow. If so, you, if you got nothing, my dude, it's uh, you get a pass turn. Yeah, I guess I'll just pass turn and uh, take a step aside. Take... 
All right, it's back to Dragon's turn. And it, like, cranes its head forward. And goes to, like, just literally just bite at the wall. You can see its large sort of wooden jaws, like, stick through the sort of makeshift window sills that the tree already had. Uh, no glass, of course. They were just openings. But uh, you see its large jaws as it just tries to, like, bite and... Uh, gives a sort of roar on the inside. Uh, it's probably going to break this wall pretty easily. But it hasn't broken it yet. Wristborn. Uh, standing next to the big bitey thing is a bad idea for you. Mm, only somewhat. <clears throat> I will do... Ooh. I'm going to cast Dragon's Breath on myself. Okay. As a bonus action. All right. And then let it out. Oh, well, that is... Oh, that's versus you. And then I fly over to there. You have a fly speed? Uh, one of my, my, uh, Tempestuous magic, I think it is. Did you cast that, though? It's just an automatic feature. Bonus action to... Uh, you need to use your bonus action to cast it. Which you already did. I mean, you can still move, don't get me wrong. I'm just letting you know. Starting at first level, you can cast it. You can use a bonus action. Okay, fine. I moved. Okay. Love you. Uh, I'll move further. So you said, you said dragon's breath, right? I just want to make sure you can cast that with a minor action. Yeah, one bonus action. Cool. All right. Uh, so that goes off without a hitch. Craig, it is your turn. Oh boy. Oh, that's why. Okay. Sorry, I was confused by something, but I'm not anymore. Well, that's a little bit better than a critical one. Uh, I mean, to be fair, you rolled a solid six there. At least it's not a critical fail. <laughs> yep. Anything else you're doing with your turn? Potentially moving? I'm going to step back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got nothing. Wait, I do have something. Bonus action. From Crag. Never mind. I do not. Hmm. I will pass. No bonus action from Crag. <laughs> No longer excited. <laughs> Element, it's back to you. Uh, you said I have half. I have my what's it called? My range half for the, for this turn, right? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, so uh, your range has been halved. So it's here that my usual range is, is thirty. Which means now it's fifteen, which is three blocks. Okay, I can hit it from here. Easily. Ugh. Assuming you don't, you know, roll horribly. Yeah. <laughs> well, you completely whoosh the attack. Is there anything else you're doing with your turn, Mr. Element? You're getting... Wait, no, I already moved, so... Can I... Can, can I move again? Like, uh, if, I, if, I had, if I hadn't used my complete, my, my complete move... No, nope. no you cannot. Move. Yeah, okay. it's it's either move and attack or attack and move. Okay, okay. You cannot move, attack, move. You cannot do that. I don't know if there's feats for that, but you can't do that. I'm afraid. 
Zyre. It's your turn. The big guy looks like a grumpy grumpus. I'm gonna back off. <laughs> You're gonna what? I'm gonna back off. <laughs> you guys are just the smartest people. And I'm gonna get this back. Oh, well, you definitely hit it. Go ahead and You're gonna do what? Uh, she's producing flame. Ah. Okay. Which seems to hit the creature, and it takes quite a bit of damage from it, as, uh, well, you do in fact produce flames. It is now on fire. Element, <laughs> my buddy, my dude, my mm. friendo. There's an on fire dra uh, dragon head that's about to attack you. I'm gonna need a wisdom saving throw real quick. Oh, it's a whore. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Well, you're definitely frightened. Hold on. I, I'm going to select you real quick to apply these. You frightened? And, uh... For one turn, you, you're also going to be a bit... Uh, paralyzed with fear oh wait um you can actually move attack move really yes how so that's just a function in the game hey thanks for thanks for for telling me i'll keep that in mind Yeah, anywho, um, it just kind of looks down at you and, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna bite you. As it kind of, like, jams its head in through the door. Somehow, with you being fearful and also paralyzed with fear, it misses. <laughs> It got advantage on its attack roll. And it still miss? It has a it has a pretty good modifier on that attack roll. <laughs> it, it still missed. What a, what a day. What a fabulous, wonderful day. At least we're not the only ones who are cursed. <laughs> Everyone is a failure today. Uh, the next one comes in and also bites at the wall, just as its previous one before. Um, you're pretty sure... Uh, all of you are basically pretty sure, like, in the next turn, it it's probably going to rip this wall off. So you probably have, like, a turn of respite before this probably won't hold. Magnet, it's your turn. One turn until the wall comes down. What are you going to do? Well, he moved. I don't know if he's talking, but he moved. Thank. I unplugged my mic. Okay, oh. so I assumed that. Well, I was here before. I assumed there's still a wall between me and this one. That is, there's the whole wall is still there. The only place there isn't a wall is where the little opening doorway is, where the middle one is that would go to the platform. Yes. That's the only place where there currently is not a wall. So if I step here, I can currently strike at him. That is correct. You feel as though the wall that you're currently taking cover behind is going to come down next turn. Shouldn't but be an can... issue. Just kill them faster. I can hit things this time. Okay. If if you're so sure. In before net one, let's go. <laughs> uh, oh dear, I'm cursed. You're all cursed. I... Not in that one. Not in that one, but it's n pretty sure. Did you even roll it on it? 
really on it. You need to right, we do that. Okay, which one is that then? It whichever, is the wounded one, so which, whichever one you're selecting, dude, just put the dice on it. Yeah, just roll it, just put the dice, just grab the dice and, and, and roll it on top of the icon itself. Yeah, right. Dude. Okay, like that. Okay, that time you hit. I'm being generous. Okay. <laughs> Remember to do that in the future. It's okay. <laughs> You may go ahead and roll damage. Let's see, since it's... I don't think I'm getting my sneak attack this time. I do not believe so either, because you are currently, like, sort of... Flying. Rounded, yes. Alright, so, not, not bad. Good hit on it, good hit on it. With a bonus action, I shall claw it. You shall what? Oh, claw God. attack. That hits... You may go ahead and roll damage. And you drag your claws against the very wood itself, make, leaving some actually nasty scratches. Ah. Pretty big scratches for... Yeah. You're lucky you worked on a ship this whole time, so you're used to claws dragging against wood. <laughs> Especially refined wood like this. All right. It is this dragon's turn. It uses its turn to rip down the wall, and that looks at the lot of you. And boop a boop boop. Let me check something. I gotta draw something. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. So I'm going to need dexterity saves from everyone inside that cone. Oh, no, oppressed. Uh, Elemen, you are still paralyzed, actually, so... Can't do that? The, I, I don't think you can make a dexterity saving throw while paralyzed. Uh, he wouldn't really be in that cone. He'd be laying down. <laughs> you want I can just uh, move it <laughs> there well then now I'm the not in the cone hold on I, I, I need to move you so I can move the top part of this cone I need to move you back in <laughs> hold on I'm gonna cheat here that is listen I'm the DM I need to do some shield <laughs> <laughs> Not really. That is much bigger than it was before. <laughs> no, it's gonna be. Oh yeah, you're right. I see the I see the blocks that get affected by it. You're right. So element, it just kind of like blasts right next to you, <laughs> uncomfortably close. But yes, you. you I do see that now. Thank you for pointing that at Resworn. And then he just got and then he just got paralyzed in fear and then he had two near de near death misses. What the hell? <laughs> um, and time for damage for this. Oh then you can't die. I've been so busy trying to nurse you back to health. I'm concerned. <laughs> oh dear, I'm concerned. Oh dear, I'm concerned. Let's hope for once. That's not once! DM, what have you done? <laughs> Rizvorn's down! Rizvorn, you say? Oh no. We have a healer, right? No. Sorry. Yes, we have a healer directly next to him, thank god. Rizvorn, I'm going to need a death saving throw, unfortunately. That's not a good one. Craig, it is your turn. Uh... Try again. Nice. You do hit this time. Roll me damage. Cool. 
Good job. Elemin, on your turn. <laughs> Somehow it's just missing out on all the damage. Uh, you are no longer paralyzed. So I'll go ahead and remove that for you. Do I do another Wisdom Saving Throw? Uh, no, you should be good now because the fire is no longer affecting the dragon. Okay. It is now embering and smoldering, but it is not on fire. Okay, enemy, enemy, enemy is like breathing heavily, trying to calm down from just being paralyzed in fear for a moment. Then he's going to. That is a miss, unfortunately. <sighs> you may want to focus on some of your spell stuff, because I know you can do spell stuff. Just saying. One of my spell, one of my the only the only offensive spell that I have is is, is serious might, which is a fire spell. I don't think I'm able to use that one right now. You can use it. You're just gonna like scare yourself in the process. <laughs> That's exactly why. To be fair, you're already frightened. Like, the only thing that can happen is you get another net one on that saving throw. I'm more frightened. Zyre, it is your turn. Uh, Ristforn has gone down in that hail of splinters. Uh, that was a lot of splinters. It was more of, you know, stabby pieces of wood than splinters. I will heal him. <laughs> That's some good healing right there. And then I'm gonna move a little bit further back. <laughs> you should probably move like to the other room. If... Heck, that might be smart. That might mean they have to tear down another wall. Yeah, since I'm injured, I'm gonna move back here. <laughs> Identified creature, uh, somewhat shocked that Edelman is still standing although he's quivering in his boots, uh, actually looks to Magna instead, because Magna actually managed to land a hit on him, and goes to Nam. And deftly misses as Magna dodges out of the way. The next creature breaks through the roll, and just goes to quickly do a chump as well at Magna, because Magna's really the only one he can attack. I need a critical fumble! Again! From the creature this time. <laughs> what type of attack? Uh, this would be a piercing damage attack. Biting. So melee? Yes. Or no, natural. Okay. Natural piercing attack. Uh, swing for the fences. You miss your target and strike the floor or a wall. Take the damage from the attack. Magda, you, you managed to literally just get it to, like, smash its face into the ground. Uh, roll damage on. No. Uh, what sort? It takes what? the damage from its own attack. Yes, I rolled damage on it. From its own attack. You, you told Magna to roll damage. Mm, no. Or at least no, that's I how I uh, heard it. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I heard too. Okay, I s screwed up my words then. I just rolled damage onto it, so don't worry about it. Okay. It would have been awesome if if somehow Magna just grabbed it and then smashed its face into the ground thinking, Oh, I can't wait to tell Ward about this. Oh, I wish you could see me now. I mean, to be fair, this is pretty epic, and Ward would absolutely love to hear about this. <laughs> Let's go with that. Smash the dragon's face into the floor. And oh, he's going to pay attention to me now. Magna. I mean, he paid attention to you before, don't worry. Magna. He's going to pay more attention to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Notice me, Ward Senpai. <laughs> and you, Magna, it's at the top of the round. You feel like a beast. And it is now your turn to deal some damage. There's that one you asked for. And uh, there it is. Zim, just keep Deliver. going through the fucking What the pack. hell is going on? Hot day today. <laughs> oh. This is, this is, this is. oh. 
Oh no. Magna, you voided your warranty. <laughs> your weapon's damage is permanently reduced by one quarter. Ooh. 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 Until fixed. Ooh. Not good for this fight. Ooh. He will toss his rapier. <laughs> eh. Are you just getting rid of it? He'll toss it to the side, think about it later, and claw right. it. Alright, fair enough. Hopefully you have another weapon. He's got claws. But yeah, the rapier just slightly bends as you like stab into the wood and you realize man this thing really doesn't work well against wood <laughs> but your claws do roll me damage Ouch. nice you can see the wood starting to chip off and flake off as you are kind of like getting to the core of the main head uh, you think it's getting fairly close to being like destabilized and breaking and, you know, for the record, Martin Claws are specifically designed to be good at, uh, getting into wood. It's doing its job here. It's, dead. it's definitely doing its job here. Um, let's see. This one, uh, kind of glances over Omen in confusion, sniffs at him. Element is still kind of like, eh. And it like goes to like, chomp at him. Hey Zim, guess what time it is? Oh boy, it's uh... time for a crit. Another critical failure card. Zim, can, oh, you, can you just like, get me the deck or something? What is going Something on? slipped. Your AC is reduced by 1d4 for 1d4 rounds. Alright, let me see what that does for it. Alright, it's got an AC reduced of 4 for 2 rounds. What is going on? I'm just gonna casually edit that. There we go. It's got a pretty low AC now, guys. I hope you can hit it. Elman, why did you take damage? You were green before. Oh. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Like, both of the attacks missed me last time. I don't, I'm not sure where I took damage. Uh, I, remember, I mean, there was a hail of splinters that hit you, but you were still green. Uh, what, whatever. I healed him after the uh, splinters, and he should have been up to full health. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, you're right. So, I don't know why you have damage again. No more damage. I do have no idea. Uh... So, it that's its turn. It, you know, it just doesn't feel so good about what it did. Wristworn, you're back up. Uh, you got a bunch of splinters in you. You look kind of like a reverse porcupine. You're not happy about it. Uh, well, let me check that spell real fast. Okay, it is a concentration, so we would have lost that. In that case, ooh. <laughs> hey Magna, you've got a really good uh, deck save, don't you? So I know what you're about to do. Element. Oh god, that's oh a bit bigger than I was thinking it would be. Well, it's you down. Will hit. You will hit many friendlies. Uh, right there I won't. 
No friendlies, but all three heads. Nine. That's true. No friendlies uh, count, I guess. What's the range on fireball real quick? Also, weren't we avoiding fire? 150 feet. Uh, yeah, no, that, that you can do that. And yeah, it also one of the one of the red highlighted squares is not magna. Pretty sure. Hold on. Nope, it is. Magna, oh. you still have a deck save. Well, then I will position it there. Oh, that does it. Well, okay. <laughs> I mean, for me, and then we can if I pass my dexterity save, I wouldn't take any damage. But I suppose Oof. the less we... Oh my. Bush! Boom! <laughs> explosion. Basically just decimates whatever was left in that main room. And the three heads of the dragon uh, more or less explode. Uh, this one, I know it says it has some health left in it, but that one is also exploding as well. Just for the reference. I almost got confused and saying, like, weren't we trying to not use fire? One sec, guys. I'll be right back. Should at the I same it? time... Should I do another wisdom saving throw? See, seeing as seeing as an explosion just happened right in front of me. Yeah, you can you can go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, I'll I'll leave it up to you if that one passes, because that was a big explosion. You're kind of already fearful, but you know you didn't net one, so it's double net one instead. <laughs> <sighs> enemy, 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 is, enemy is like just in. It's just it's still in the first in the first full state, but seeing as seeing as the as the heads are are crumbling down, exploding, it, it's it's soothing a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Seeing as the enemy is is is, is gone. <sighs> okay, that was just a comedy of errors. Yeah, no, it really was. Uh, let's get a net one, let's get a net one, let's get a net one, net one, net one, net one, net one. You get a net one. Is there anyone that didn't roll a net one? Craig rolled a net one. Elman rolled a net one. I don't think Risporn rolled a net one, uh, but Magna rolled a net one. I think each of the dragon heads individually rolled a net one. Zyre, did you get a net one in there? No. No. <laughs> Zyre and Risporn are the only ones safe from the curse today. <laughs> So far, this right here. I think I got at least two not ones too. Yeah, no. Maybe three. I forget. For the grand finale, you get a net one. Streamler, streamer privilege. Yeah, R and Jesus uh, praises the streamers. <laughs> That's not right. Hold on. The streamers praise Iron Jesus, something like that. They have the blessing of Iron Jesus. <laughs> and thank God the intelligence to literally throw out the single fireball. I, I just hope that I hope I just hope that the the, the the tree house is not burning right now. Oh no, it is. Like, that entire, like, section that he just threw a fireball into, it's basically decimated in nothing more than just charred embers and small fires, and they're slowly spreading, but, like, it's it's smaller fires, because most of it is just raining down in wood chips now. Uh, that's... that's fine, right? I mean, some All right, I'm back. Fire right, miss. This is not fine. So, you threw the fireball, the rest of, well, like, what was rest of the room and the branch ex supporting it exploded. All three of the dragon heads exploded, even though one of them, you think, still probably could have kept fighting a bit more, uh, it did also likewise explode. 
there's like, you know, fiery wood chips raining down, as well as fire softly creeping up what's left of the branch that supported it. Also, in this action, the unicorn uh, stops being a unicorn and instead is a person who um, is awkwardly naked. Oh. As uh. Euphoria, you are returned to your previous form. No, no! Kind of bad timing, but like, like th that's what's happening right now. Uh, Craig hands him oh, gosh, hood gosh, 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 gosh. to cover important things. We're gonna need to get you guys some like icons or something. Cause Someday. You look, you look just like Magna now. Rizborn is going to be uh, using prestidigitation to put out the fires. How does that work? Is Mark on the one on the it top of the one? It works because it's a spell. On top. Gotcha. So, so Rizborn, I'm just gonna state right now, that platform up there does not exist anymore. Okay. It's, it's literally just like the little branch and a ramp leading up. You've just you it's a it blew up. It is now wood chips. Zyrus? Unfortunately, whatever was left up there is now just lost to time. Zyrus is gonna walk in and look at where the uh, room used to be and then just look to wrist form with complete admiration and say, Boss, that was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And he will make an Welcome. elaborate bow. <laughs> Welcome to my D and D party, where the solution is to blow shit up. Yeah, this is seems me. a little dissatisfied and wonders if it's viable to like jump across this gap to see if there was anything yeah, I don't wait, know worth taking in the room. How tall is the naked friend? Would it, would my shirt act as a dress on him? To be fair, any magical items in that that were in that room would still be there. I mean, they'd have fallen to the ground, but they would have survived that. It's just the nature of being magical itself. Yeah, I guess, but... So, like, the wand would still be there. Room. The wand would still be right there. Now, the and... wand's still there. This person is still a unicorn. Also, you still got a dragon to fight. What are you talking about? Wait, what? I'm talking about if the one still exists, uh, there's still a dragon to fight. Okay, we'll take down unicorn. another dragon head. Okay. Any clothes? It's it's an un un unbecoming of a lady to be like this. Please. Uh, How tall are you? Uh, yeah, you're yeah, Apparently, they want to keep the fight going, so you're still a, you're still a unicorn. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, Don't that's worry, the this will be wrapped up in a moment. It's nearly impossible to destroy a magic item. I mean, it was a wooden magic item, so I figured a fireball and an explosion that big would have really done it. It Even makes so. things super durable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think he's right, though. Like, magical items are pretty hard to get rid of. Oh no, time is moving backwards. Yep. <laughs> Oh, we still got a dragon head to deal with then. So hey, I'm okay with that. How so close to be hoofless? Oh, I don't know where we left a uh, wrist form just went. So it would be Crag. Craig, it is your turn. You see the last head teething into the floorboards to hold on, growling softly. You hit. Ah. You can roll damage. Some good damage, but not enough to kill it. Element. The thing is still holding on. There's fire raining down. Your heart's beating at a accelerated pace. Ooh, 
He had dropped a natural 20, the first, it would have been the first nat 20. Yeah. First but crit. luckily, you did reduce its AC earlier, My so... My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure. Oh, is that an ethereal influence? Oh, it is Jaffer. Oh. oh Jaffer again. Jaffer, my dude. Thank you for letting this mean something. Mean. So last head's getting a nice little second wind. Uh, Element, you may go ahead and roll damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maki, yeah. to outdo him, you will also need to redeem a minor influence. What? But it <laughs> is possible to cancel out another person's influence if you do more than they did. We have a bidding war for oh, the last dragon. Um... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> should I stop? Should I stop for now? I'm. I'm gonna. You, you. You can still roll damage. Whether or not this dragon dies, though, I guess depends on if Jaffer is just willing to spend more. Technically, Jaffer, you can spend two minor influences to, uh, or another moderate, just one more to uh, cancel out Maki's canceling. The hell. We 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 have a bid war going on here in D and D. Can I get? Uh, we got five thousand save crowns. We have 5, only save crowns once. Five thousand save crowns twice. We got eight thousand save crowns. Can I get ten thousand save crowns? Uh, sable. These are cobalt marks. Ten thousand cobalt marks. Can I get ten thousand gold marks? <laughs> ten thousand going once. Ten thousand going twice. Jaffer, Jaffer. Ten thousand. Ten thousand cobalt marks. Sorry, Jaffer, but that is something that we've had from the very beginning. But it's only come up once. <laughs> is this the once? Or is it and well, once before this. Once and Gilbert Marks on twice. Uh, so Maki. has said he will not. Super rude, though. <laughs> Maki cashes in the ethereal influence for nothing to happen. Boring. <laughs> I, I I guess. <laughs> All right, you hit the creature. Damage is done, and it is on Desire's turn. Desire, you're in the other uh, room. You hear an explosion. For the record, real quick, Jaffer, you will be getting your marks back. Okay. Uh because hey. you know. Your influence technically didn't go through, but... Maki, they were actually beating this thing up pretty good, so they probably wouldn't have died even with this thing back and forth. I, I know Risforn dropped, but you gotta remember Risforn is the paper-thin boy. <laughs> he also got hit like twice in a row with some really high damage rolls, not gonna lie. Mages are really squishy. Damages. Yeah. We have healers, don't worry. Uh, let's see. Uh, you, we gotta produce flame. The produced flame hits, of course, and it is enough to burn it to a crisp as its charred embers fall away. And I got a pretty good run on my wisdom saving. Now we are back to the previous scene, except Euphoria, you are still a unicorn. Aww. Yeah, unfortunately, because the wand still exists, you are still a unicorn. Unfortunately, where the what? wand is... It's still a major question as this place it is still exploded, then. it is still wood chips falling from the sky, as the room itself was not magical at all. Uh, it would be really nice to have a room and... right now. So let's see. Let me let me Go let me around. see. Let me let me pull up some stats here, because things have been complicated. Things uh, have been complicated. Things have been complicated. Uh, sh shoot. Where did it go? Crap, that's right. I lost the tab. I forgot that I had to help my girlfriend do a thing and that lost all of my tabs from before, so... 
Technical difficulties, please stand by. I gotta pull up the PDF I had for this. Which should be as easy as searching my history, so please give me one second. Nope. Uh, I've got to disable all of my notification, all of the notifications from programs again. Here we go. I found it rather easily. Just had to look up the keyword. All right. Waiting for. When I believe there was technical difficulties. Later. Oh, I, I've got the PDF up. I just need to look over the various. Uh... Element, do you have a cape? Yes, I do. Can yes, you put I it do. on? on top of me in case I transform again and I'm not naked. <laughs> yes. You do see the sheep just kind of sitting there looking up at the explosion. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the cape, the cape on top of you. Just because just because, just because I, I feel that you need some comfort after being transformed for so long. If the person is like under five feet, I could also probably offer my cloak <laughs> as a dress or my tunic. The baggiest dress in the world. I didn't know why it should work, but right now I'm pretty big as a horse, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm going to need some, let's see, what kind of check would this even be, dear god? You're look. You're literally looking for a piece of magic, like, uh, with Graham actually you'd be able to find it a lot easier. Investigation? Yeah, well I mean if you want to do investigation to try and find it without Graham's self, you can do that. <laughs> Graham's not here, so... I mean, he was, and kind of is, in spirit, he's got the arcane sight. I mean, his character, is st his character is still here in universe, so I guess we could, he we could use him like that. Yeah. Like, he, like he he did he was here for the first half of this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and. Oh yeah, uh, Graham is easily able to pick it out of the ashes and <clears throat> various splinters of wood, as it has a very nice natural magna mana glow to it. However. You see, you uh, as Graham brings you the wand. Well, actually, he has second thoughts about bringing Risk for the wand and brings it instead to Zyre, because I'm pretty sure that's what his character would do. Uh, Zyre, hey. you are shown. Who's bringing it? Riz for is going down here to look for it. Right. Well, I mean, if you want to find it before Graham does, because Graham has the magic sight, you can give me an investigation roll. Hey, he was looking for it for. Oh, yeah, already, I mean. To be fair, I think Zyre would just give it to Risforn anyway. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know you were going to look for it. I was just rolling for Graham to be able to see it because Graham's not here, and I figured it would be a pretty high DC with all the, you know, shards of wood everywhere. But with that, I would say you would actually just make the DC. 
if I'm being honest. High DC. Uh, so you would be able to find it yourself before Graham has to magic sight it out of the woodwork. And as you pick it up, you notice that it is a formed, it is a, it's a nice wand formed of a long, thin twig taken from an oak tree, likely this one. Um, it is, it's almost obviously the wand of true polymorph. Um... It needs it. You can tell that it requires uh, some attunement. I'm going to need an Arcana check, though. Dun 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 dun. Alrighty. All right. You can tell. From that Arcana check, that uh, there are some modifications that have been made to this wand that have made it extremely unreliable. You feel almost, uh, you know, uneasy holding it. Okay. It, can I use it without attuning to it to reverse its effects? Uh, let me see. I mean, it's up to you whether that's the case. I'm reading. Hold on. Uh, there's a thing. Where the heck was it? Normally you can't, but I just kind of like to not have to go through the process of that and just get this over with. He's just going to reverse the effects on the sheep and give it to him. There's something about a spell here, though. I'm trying to figure out where it says you need to do something. assume you would just need to use the wand however if you do use the wand we are going to need um another arcana roll to reverse the effects an arcana roll another another arcana roll to reverse the effects and uh, as you swish the wand around uh you know, the individual known as Shine Rut, he does pop back into his uh, elven form and gives a bit of a smile and goes, Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Oh, it's a bit of a mess though, isn't it? He says he just, like, looks up at the still somewhat burning and falling ashes. There's, you know, occasional leaves and whatnot. They're just fluttering down. Ugh. Well, you know, I had to get rid of that dragon. Fair enough. I did Thing. Mean. Yes. Well, um... He glances to you. Uh... Oh, dear. He just, like, looks Take at the wand thing. for a moment. Yeah. He nods and takes it. Yes, it looks... What the heck did he do with this? He, like, turns his hand a bit. Right, well... I... He, like slowly like leans to glance past the house i don't suppose there's anyone you left alive then uh there's a unicorn up there well i don't recall you owning a unicorn before so i'm going to have to assume that's an individual that he wrongly transmuted hopefully i can still use this without killing them um he, he says as he like saunters his way back up upstairs as the rest of the party, you guys are, like, free to be doing what you want to be doing at this moment. We did uh, do a lot of murdering, didn't we? It did. 
Risk Foreign will go ahead and start uh, using prestidigitation to uh, put out the fires. That I mean, is the responsible thing to do. And then he's just sitting down on a, on a chair trying to calm down after all the fire and the dragon and the fire dragon. Euphoria, you see an elf come up and he like looks over you and goes, Oh, yes, I remember you. And then he like swishes his wand at you and you are turned back into your normal form. Now, again, properly this time. Whew. Still Finally. no clothing, unfortunately. Your your armor and stuff was in a nearby chest, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I put I put my my cloak ar ar around her. Yes, the Foxy was nice enough to do that. Right. Well, oh, thank you this. all graciously for all your assistance. He says to everyone uh, who is in the room in which he is standing with. It has been absolutely d d d delightful. Working with each and every one of you to thank goodness take back this place. Sorry, I forgot to work. turn off the uh, audio on this thing. Right, I got you. <laughs> there, there's probably going to be a few little ma miss ups uh, here and there like that for a little bit. No worries. Kinda. No worries. Uh, just, just let me know before that's going to happen, so I can just like you know. Put a little well, pause and... I, I didn't think it was going to happen. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, in the future, though, like, when you're going to do that, like, just feel free to tell me, and I'll, like, pause so we can see the battle. Oh, you want to see the battle. Okay. I mean, yeah. The Tuesday group like, throws it, a fit. It, as, as long as that's going to be, like, a sort of thing for the stream, like, we might as well. Yeah, that, that's the plan. And it's a great way to get uh, crowns. Oh, you get crowns for doing that? Uh, I give out... Uh, up to 30 crowns for people who give the most, or who place the most troops. Gotcha. Well, anywho. Like this time, Rachel is getting them. Also, this stupid program keeps resetting its resolution and it's breaking everything. That's a big oof right there. Uh, Any a little bit louder. How's that sound volume for you guys? Is that bad? Yeah, that's fine by my by my end. Fine on my end too. Yeah, right. sounds good. I like the music in the game, but I turn it off because it's just a hassle. All right. So, anyways, uh, what were we doing? Uh, he was going up and thanking everyone for all of their assistance and all their, you know. You know, hospitality for those of you who are actually hospitable. Uh, he states that he's going to deal with the wand in a proper fashion in which this will never see the light of day again as it has been ruined, unfortunately. Uh, though if any of you at any point need some proper polymorphing, I don't need an old wand to do it. I'll even cover any component costs you need. You would need for such to take care of a little polymorphing if you just so happen to need it. Interesting. I might take you up on that. Now, about the uh, Ministry of Magic. Right. That thing you were talking about. Yes. Putting together a force of mages and adventurers alike to deal with problems across the uh, world, such as the darkness. Yes, that pesky thing that occasionally is on the mountains miles away. Well, it's only miles away right now because uh, one of our uh, former compatriots uh, went off and fought it back, but it's going to come back. I mean, it's always been at the mountains. It's been held back fairly well. That, that is to say, of course, that 
might be other people who are struggling, of course. But L is doing quite fine by poor itself. That, 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 that doesn't mean I'm not interested in the Ministry, though. Well then, let us discuss. He gives a nod and gestures him to a, a chair as he yeah, uh, softly slips on a set of robes. I mean, for starters, uh, Rizvorn will take the chair. Uh, for starters, instead of having to find a random group if something like this happened, you've got a, a guild almost of allies to call upon. I already had that with the moose. And with the, uh, with the EU. He says he smiles at you and, uh, grabs a cup off the table and sips at it. A cup you... of a cup of table? What drink yep. is that? You say you already had that, and yet you had to come find us. I mean, to be fair, I was a sheep. I was looking for anyone who looked half competent. And if I went just straight to the moose or the EU, well, I'm almost certain my apprentice would have looked there first. And who is we're this moose? We're going to have to track you with mooks. One at a time, please. He did have to track you with dogs in the end. Exactly. I do feel sorry for him, though. Going up in a giant fireball, it's not the best way to go. Though, I do know many wizards who have gone that way. He was already. He was already dead. He was already dead before the fireball was even cast. Yeah, he went out from a magic missile. Ah, the fireball just took care of the corpse. Still and bloody messy. And the dragons. How? How did? How was he able to do that? Those, oh, those, those three headed. Those three headed dragons that he summoned out wood. Well, he picks up the wand that has been modified in such a way that it, like, uh, it almost sort of strangely pulses with magic. Well, uh, I believe he was experimenting with something. That much is obvious. This one was not like that before. So he polymorphed the wood. He polymorphed the wood into a into a living into a living thing in the shape of a dragon. Apparently, that's possible. I didn't think that was possible. Uh, if you want, you could look over some of his notes. I'm sure there's still some in the other room. None left in the bedroom, apparently. Was that your bedroom? I'm so sorry. That was my bedroom, yes. It's okay, I often end up sleeping in these chairs anyways. Uh, I could probably get a new bed set in soon. Get something properly constructed. Maybe get some druids out here or something of the sort. See if they can help the tree. I would hate for this old girl to die after that. Also, it's a bit drafty in here. He says just looking to the giant hole that is now his wall. I might need to relocate temporarily. Well, we do have a uh, guild hall in uh, Fortitude. Or that's. Do you know how far Fortitude is? Also, that's outside of Moose boundaries. You still haven't told us who this Moose is. Oh well, I couldn't hear you ask the question as two or three of you asked different questions at the same time. Anywho, the Moose is the magical order of secrets and enchantments. I. Oh, I see now. Magical Order of Secrets and Enchantments. Yeah, 
Interesting. Though, to be fair, they do tend to deal with more of the trade aspect of magical items and things of that nature, as we have had issues in the past with magical items being used for uh, unsavory purposes. If anything, they may have something to say about you trying to start up a new sort of, uh, shall we say, official magical business. That isn't good. I don't think that's going to stop Brace for me. Enemy is, enemy is going to say. I didn't say it was. In fact, they'll probably be willing to work out a deal. Though I just doubt that, you know, you're going to be able to set up this ministry of yours without some sort of red tape getting in the way. Well, it's already been established in Fortitude as well as... Uh, official support from wherever city we're near. Uh, that would be Elra, and they were currently, I believe, uh, almost at the end of their deliberations. Uh, since they were giving a seven-day period for, uh, debate on your status within the city. Okay. Politics. Anywho, I would be more than happy to, you know, lobby for you, of course, given your actions here. That would be appreciated. Of course. And hopefully the moose uh, would be more than... Happy to work with a magical authority such as myself. Um, was there really anything else to be said? He sips at his cup. You assume that it's tea, but if it's tea, it's been sitting here for a while. You said it was a cup of table earlier. <laughs> no, it's a cup of tea. He took the tea off the table. <laughs> I was just trying to be funny. I know it's not working. You failed. No. <laughs> <laughs> so is there, is there anything else you seek from this uh, Professor Shinebright? Uh, you mentioned an award, a reward for this. Right. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Ever since I've been turned into a sheep, I haven't had a coin on me. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Glancing left to right. Intense silence. Risforn's just staring at him expectantly. His uh, eye has turned a uh, a vibrant yellow. Softly. You can help yourself to anything in left here? I believe the... You know, I actually have something that your uh, knowledge might be useful for, though I kind of doubt that. Alright. You see, I have this uh, doppelganger, basically. Oof, double gangers and a nasty business. Uh, come back to Elra with us, and we'll see what you can help us figure out about him. 
Uh, sure. I've always loved to study magic. Although, of course, I'm more into the school of, uh, I believe it's permutation for polymorph. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, transmutation, I'm pretty sure. Transmutation, thank you. Yeah, permutation is math. Thank you, that is correct. Transmutation. Yes, his, his specialty is more transmutation than anything else, but he's more than willing to try and give a scholarly opinion on it. That if, uh, is the what rest, I asked. If the rest of the party is well, they did. good here. Well, well uh, Richmond did, did just say he was a doppelganger, even if it's not literally. A doppelganger would be his area of expertise. Yeah, doppelgangers probably are a transmutative creature. Uh, is there I... anything else anyone else wants to be doing before y'all leave? I gotta find my stuff. Has oh, anyone yeah. seen <laughs> my things? The more of the, like the, the the like church clerical attire. Very not hard to miss. Oh, didn't we find didn't we find some some, some stuff that looked like they belonged to a cleric in the other room? Oh, show me, show me. They were somewhere around here. Yeah, Elvin, you uh, you open the chest back up, and uh, just as before, you find the belongings of uh, a cleric. It comes with a, you know, some of the, you know, it's not it's nothing fancy, but it's definitely some important items, such as you know, holy vestments. Uh, some uh, mace, shields, uh, chainmail armor, uh, various, you know, general gear, etc. And I mean, and I has has this stuff, the, 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 the chest of euphoria. Are, are these yours? Yes, these these are mine. Ah, oh, thank you. I uh, can um, could you help me? Put them on. Like, I, I'll, I'll need some help putting this on. Let me bust it. Of course. Thank you. Rag, sire, what are you two doing in this moment of respite? Uh, Craig wants to hang out with Kai. Kai, uh, pawing at a beehive. As she was. As you may recall, she was aloof for this entire thing. She saved me from my own mistakes and then left. Yep. Craig just sits there and watches her and waits for other people to get done because he doesn't understand the magical stuff. He's going to be practicing... Uh... Something. I forget the name. Alarms? Dancing lights, that's what he's practicing right now. Right, right, that's you you recently got that, that's true. Sire's so gonna go supervise the knoll <laughs> just to make sure he doesn't get into trouble. I mean the knoll seems fine. It's the bear you gotta worry about. That's the one that's like batting at a beehive with no care in the world. The knoll is the one who used the staff of bears though, which is what Sire is really upset he about. Does in fact have a staff of bears. It's an oddity that he doesn't just use it constantly to try and get new friends. I don't. It, I, I don't believe like bears have a natural like resistance to bees. Yeah, they do I, actually. That is that is actually true. Of course, not everyone knows that, mm -hmm. and not everyone who may be standing in the vicinity of the beehive might be resistant to bees. Indeed. <laughs> But with bears, it's it's not so that they have natural resistance, but more of their large, thick pelt really makes it so that they're just too damn hairy for bees to really even properly sting them, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think that's what I said. But, nonetheless. Resforn, you're able to return to the city with the professor in tow. Uh, Euphoria, you're able to regear yourself as you have not been able to do in gods know how long. But it feels good to have your holy vestments back on, and to have your mace in hand. I miss this dearly. I love, 
how long how long have you been trans transformed on, on, on in the in that stable? Uh, too long, and I'm glad that's over. I don't want to remember that. I want to move on. I can imagine. Why were you? Why were you in, in this place? Like, how did you get here? Uh, I was looking for a uh, somebody, and I thought he'd be here, but I was sorely mistaken. Very mistaken. I, I see. I want. I want. I want. I wonder who this person is. That's such a red might to tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, <sighs> if they even. What matters them. is the. Uh, what matters is that they're not here, and that's basically it. Well, what about you? I. But would you all tracking this mad mage? I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm just the paladin of, of, of this, of this group of quote-unquote heroes. To be fair, uh, Euphoria, you would have remembered seeing a sheep bolt out of the main tree, like just a few days ago. So that's probably what led them back here. Yeah, a, she a sheep led us here, basically. Wow, what a cool. Oh. Uh, at least my prayers must have been answered <laughs> at least for that well if you're just a companion who is the leader of your group the, uh, the, in, the ethically questionable otter is the leader of our group ah I, I see uh, before I do anything else I believe I haven't introduced myself I am Euphoria what is your name? My name is my name is Elamin. Nice to meet you, Euphoria. Pleasure to meet you. Now I will find this questionable otter. So I Euphoria believe... will look for the otter. <laughs> the otter had already has already left the scene, I believe, unless Risporn, you're staying behind for some reason. No, he's heading with everybody. Now, if you're heading with everybody, then you would be with the rest of the party. And you, for you, you would easily find Risporn. Like oh, still you mean like when we get back to Elra? I'm talking about right now. We we still haven't left the scene yet. Then yeah, At we're least with the majority everybody. of the party hasn't. Yeah. If okay, so if, you, if you're staying with everyone, Euphoria, you'd be able to find Risporn likely still conversing with the main elf wizard. The uh, it's in the middle of an awkward silence right now, as they seem to be have like you know, finished up all their talking points for the moment. Verse four, the uh, the in the female uh, cleric, I believe, approaches. I forget the exact race of what you chose. She's a mouse. A mouse. Okay. Wait, no, no, sorry, a rat. No, it's a rat. A rat. The cleric rat approaches you. In fact, why don't just for, for just for the purposes of the stream, as we don't exactly have an image yet, uh, Red, could you just give a small, full, proper description of your character? Ah, uh, real quick. Uh, if I remember correctly, when I picked the species, what was the height of the rats in this place? I'm not sure how tall they. Uh, like however tall you want to make them. It's. A, They're about a four to around four feet, like three point five to four point five feet tall. Yeah, hey, <laughs> that's pretty small. If if you want to have an abnormally large one, I'll I'll allow it as long as it's still like a medium size. I mean, creature. it would be a small size. Okay, it would be like four feet then. Wait, where did you get stats for a rat? Did I make one? You, you made yeah, them. You make them. Yeah, you made some. Like two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Weeks ago. And it should have been a small size. Yeah, I believe you mentioned like something similar to a gnome, so I wasn't sure how tall they can be. Uh, they would be, I mean, it would be a small size. Okay. 
So okay, I'm just small. Four point five feet would probably be uh, four and a half feet would probably be the max. That sounds good to me. I'll keep that. All right. So you capped at four and a half feet. Yeah. Do percent. I do remember that. Still right, taller so than Zyre. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So you put it as a, uh, like, like I said, a red lady. She has, um, at this point, like she doesn't. She has her, she has a long, golden lock hair. She's almost um, golden in, in fur color, but um, and yeah, she's just basically reminds you of like a warm sun, basically, just because just of her fur, fur coloration. Is is that it? No other defining features. Yeah, that's basically. She's just pretty bright to see honestly like she's just it's just bright a very shiny rat yeah so <laughs> nothing about the vestments of which you wear uh perhaps the god of which you display on said vestments nothing you will the... see you will see the icons of just of like a sun itself it looks pretty plain but it's just a representation of the sun itself It'd be like a circle and four spikes on around around it. Ah, praise the sun. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Bradley, if you have a, if you have a picture of of, of the photo, you, you you could uh, like share it on the Tales of Middle Earth uh, chat in Discord. I could do that later if I can. Yeah, I can find one and share it later. I I, I assume you have an actual deity in game. Yes. Yeah, I believe I oh, what which one did I choose? Damn. I think I went uh, with the I, the I, life I, aspect of Helios. Okay. Uh, as long as you have one, that's that's my main concern, not that you just worship the sun. As, <laughs> I got as, one. As much of a meme that is that it is. <laughs> uh I believe no, Paylor no is worship, the god of the sun. Yes. Paylor? Paylor. Oh, Paylor. That's yeah. Okay. I just went for what the handbook said about which ones represented the sun. I uh, looked at ones for the, for the ones of the life domain, and I believe the Heliod was the one that I liked the most. Right. Well, we can we can uh, go over that more in the near future. Sounds good. But for right now, you're all heading back to town. Well, no, actually, you still, you were still going to talk to Risforn. I was going to introduce myself and thank, uh, thank him. Oh, well, let me say. You can, you feel free yeah. to talk to him so you're talking to him as the character. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> it's like, uh, how do I address him? Oh, uh, uh, Master Wizard of directing... Like, please. pops up. Yes. Wait, who responded? Shine bright, the elf. Oh, I was mostly talking to uh, this one. Uh, yeah, Captain you, 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 you will work. The title. What happened? Captain will work. Oh well, Captain. Uh, my name is Euphoria, and I would like to. Sincerely, thank you for, uh, well, helping me in this tricky situation. It was a group effort. Yes, but from what I can see, you seem to be, as you say itself, the captain of this group. Uh, yes, uh, basically. Stop rolling his eyes. Well, we used to have another one. We were co-captains, but they left, so, you know. It's just me. Well, allow me to follow you around to at least pay my gratitude, um, show my gratitude in some way. I cannot just leave you guys alone after what you've done. For hey, you're welcome to join us. We can always use more crew. I will. Thank you for having me. Part of the ship, part of the crew. (laughs) 
Sorry, that chance is more for Saturday's game, but still. <laughs> well, I'm done with that. Well, the party has gained plus one member. Can I get, can get a little celebration sound in chat? Euphoria has joined the party. Da -da 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 -da. I said in chat! <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, yeah, I've got to reconnect all of my sound files. Oh, really? Yes. Got like 60 plus sound files. I really don't want to do that. Did, did, did the sound play? No, it didn't because I've got to reconnect them, like I said. Oh, that's right, because you got a new computer. Yes. Ooh. Big oof right now. So, quick shout out to chat. You can't use any sounds. Big oof. The right influence there. one I set up. That one. Oh, works. okay. I mean, that that's fair. Remind me what the influence sound was from again. I remember you telling me, but I forgot. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Right. Gotcha. Also, I guess uh, I just noticed on stream final call to place units. We're about to start another battle. Yes, we are. Pointless Lurker, Kazoo's the Final Fantasy 1 win theme. That's fairly impressive. I do enjoy the Kazoo. I can imagine it now. Proceed on the main Twitch. Alright, battle time! Got it fixed, so it's actually working right. And both the Lightning Dragon and Maki have the uh, max, uh, the highest number of troops. I don't know why, but you keep. Fading out really bad, uh, Gold King, and that was happening before this as well. Like other streams and such. I guess I'm just gonna have to go ahead and lower my sensitivity more, because I don't know what to do about fading. Well, go listen to the stream right about this time later. So about two hours in, a little bit more, a little bit before that. The second stream Raiders, I've got you. What? When we do the second stream raiders, I got you. Me... Sure. Poggers in chat. We're gonna kill a dragon in tonight in WoW. WoW! I don't know how to I like how there's just a freaking dragon in the uh, in this game too, apparently. But regardless, as in when I said uh, potentially shorter stream tonight, would thirty minutes be good? Like, would you would you still have the time to do what you need to do? I mean, I'm technically ready to end now. Okay. What I need to I'll, set I'll... up... I got set up... Oh, wait. I do need to... Well, I can get that. That's fast and easy. There's one more well, thing I, guess, I forgot uh, to set up, but... In that case, we could do some sort of finishing bits, more or less. I assume these quote-unquote finishing bits would still take us to, like, 9 o'clock. If not, a little bit past. Since I assume that there are some things people want to do, such as, uh, uh, for one thing, Magna wants probably to get a new rapier now that his is bent. I've got a lot of things to do when I go visit that smith. One, pick up my weights. Two, ask for a very sharp blade to, uh, 
help treat the infection. I've still got some things to do with that after all. And then fix the rapier. I believe by now the other two things would be available for you, but the rapier would be the new order you'd have to sort of set. Acceptable. Uh, you can either, either buy a new one or just commission him to fix your current one. If you want him to fix the current one, he says it would probably take, you know, the rest of the day. It, it wouldn't take a full day, so like he'd probably have it for you ready by the evening. Because you guys did go out pretty early in the morning, so he could probably get that done for you by the end of the day today. Or you could Magna still has a sense of money and thinks that repairing it would probably be easier than uh, just getting a new one. Unlike everyone in their 600 platinum. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is true. You could also potentially just talk someone into repairing it for you. Can't do that. No, I can't think. Just like a mending cantrip. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and say that this is just a little too broken for mending to fix. <laughs> Given that. Uh, He's gonna hand it to the smith. <laughs> actually, no. I. Mending would actually work very well for this. Really? That's the whole point of mending, is fixing things like this. And Rizforn would have happily done it on the way back to Elra. Okay, yep, you do have that as a cantrip. So, Rizforn is a non magical item. Yep, it, uh, fair enough, it is a non magical item. You are correct. And it is a simple rapier, I suppose. So, Rizforn, since you do have that cantrip, yes, I'll allow it. Even though I want to drain you of all your money. Um. <laughs> I mean, Rizfor... In previous campaigns, I've literally used mending over and over and over to repair an airship. It was a team of mending, but yes, that did happen. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a team. A small team, but still. I should like think some, some stupid, like... Uh, Guns of Icarus stuff going on right here. Yeah, I mean, as long it, as long as all the parts are there, mending works. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Um. Well, so Magna, you're more than free to go about getting your things and doing all of that good stuff. See, I, I'm uh, gonna add those weights to my inventory. Okay. Uh, each weight is going to be five pounds. Well, there's going to be the 5-pound weights, the 10-pound weights, and the 20-pound weights. You might not want to have them in your inventory. Well, I won't... Damn that I have them. <laughs> just just don't have them being carried, because you otherwise are going to be encumbered all the time. Well, then that begs you... the question, where is it being kept at? I would assume the airship. Is that where uh, you're keeping or... them? <laughs> Or they in, or they aim for now. I mean, that's that's where Magna lives. Yes. Now, time to try these suckers out. Are you are you are you going about an exercise routine and lifting the weights? He's he's got him now. He's sort of excited. He's <laughs> okay. Give me a strength roll, just the flat strength roll. Flat strength. Okay. Uh, how, how how long do you go at like just pumping the iron? Uh, well, until Elliman needs him or someone stops him for something. Okay, give me an endurance roll. You mean Constitution? I'm sorry. Yes, Constitution. You are correct. Nah. Wow. Yeah, you're able to go for. Quite a bit. You've got uh, some. You've had a good day so far. You had a good breakfast this morning. You killed a, uh, a wooden dragon today. Like you feel good, and so you're able to like go at it. You've got some good form going, and you're keeping it up pretty good through the day. Um, so you're just able to continue for a while. But you of course need to take rests here and there. But like after like, you know, just a few take minutes of rest, resting. Drink water. Drink yeah. lots of water. <laughs> Take, take rest, drink water, but then you're just right back to it. Like, you you are pumped today. You've got the the eye of the tiger. Eye of tiger. 
That, that was that was off key, but okay. Um, <laughs> Risforn, as you return to the airship with newfound friend Euphoria, as well as Professor Shinebright, I assume you show one or both of them to your captive. Show one or both of what? Shine bright and euphoria. Uh, you wouldn't see a... Well, yeah, he'll bring... If euphoria is following around, then he doesn't care. Zyra will also follow her sworn. Enemy, enemy is going with, with, with uh, them as well. Alright, so they... Uh, One Craig, moment. Is there anything you're doing? in this time before we pause what is breaking he thinks he's onto a cool shape he's able to make a guys really cool blob yes him hold off for a moment oh I thought you, you were I thought you just need to wait. No, I... I, I was installing something that messed with the uh, sound settings, but I think we're recovered now. Okay, hopefully so. Yeah, things look good. Or sound good. Alright, continue. Well, well, Craig, while Craig is off being distracted with his dancing lights and whatnot, Risforn, you bring Shine Bright, uh, followed by Euphoria, followed by Element, followed by Zyre, all in to see your doppelganger who is currently tied up and gagged and properly stored inside a back room. Uh, Risforn will ungag him and point out, so uh, this is the guy I came across who's claiming that we are a god? Or something to that effect? He giggles softly to himself and smiles madly. Uh, Shine Bright just kind of blinks down at him and blinks at you. He like softly leans in. Are you sure he's not just mad? Oh, I'm sure he's just mad. But there's also the fact that, you know, he is entirely identical to me that lends some possible credence to a uh, possible you know legitimacy to his uh statement the uh the individual just goes hello brother i see you finally found some time for me i've been lonely uh Risforn's just gonna ignore him <laughs> Incredible. It's like a mirror. So much your eyes. Perfect copy. He is. Brisford is not that bad. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, on, on the, you know, sort of manic scale of individuals. Uh, Ristforn can still pass as a normal individual, and this person is full Hannibal Lecter. Not yet. He he passes a normal person for now. <laughs> he just kind of like softly blinks between the two of you and moves to do some examinations of the individual, uh, lightly grabbing his chin, peering him over. Uh, doing some little magic things here and there. Well, he's not a doppelganger. He is just another otter. From what I can tell. 
strangely magical potent. But then again, so are you. So he isn't a creature that's copying you, at least. I can assure you of that. Any other ideas about him, then? And why he... he why he's perfectly identical? Well, do you have any siblings? Mm, I was an orphan, so not that I know of. Well, that, that in and of itself could easily explain it. You could have had a twin at your natural birth and and have been separated. I suppose it's possible. How, 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 do, you, how do you think it ended, ended up this messed up, I wonder, though? If, if, if that's the case, at least. Absolute you, you, you... power corrupts absolutely. Do you notice that he's trying to nod the floorboards? He's trying to numb it? He's not- he's trying to gnaw at oh. the floorboards. Like, bite at them. Yeah. But certainly is a very... Uh, special individual. I'm sure... His, something strange with his eye but there's something strange with your eye too I assume you know about that though it's probably just the same trick of magic that's just something I was born with eh you mean that's not some sort of spell no just what I was born with none of glass eye with an enchantment no? Huh. I might need to do some reading then. But I'll let you know if I find something. That would be appreciated. He gives a nod. Kind of gives a somewhat worried look over to your captive. As he continues to lightly struggle against his binds. This, amidst the silence, he eventually just states that you know, with the world behind our eyes, our eyes become the world. Zyra will bear uh -huh. it. That's nice. <laughs> Maddening. Zyra will glare at him and say, don't make me get the bear. I I want to go. He, like, snaps his up to wrist one. How do you see the world? I want to see that, too. Sure, guys. Is that what he wants? What? Does he want to trade eyes? Is that what he wants? He has stated he wants wrist one's eyes. Huh. It doesn't seem exactly appealing, though. <laughs> no. I've already had one friend who lost an eye. One was bad enough. So it would seem. Any other actions that are going on with your captive? As he is just going to continue his babblings of eyes and worlds and sights and sounds and it's just nonsense as far as you're concerned I, I've got no idea where else to go with this it's 
It's very hard to talk to someone who's insane, I will admit. It is the interesting thing about insanity. Assuming that he's even insane, of course. Okay. You could, of course, just, you know, choose to lock him back up and figure out something else you're going to be doing. But, of course, standing around with this guy just babbling incoherently. Like the professor said, he'd have to do some reading, but he can get back to you. He seems to yeah. be oddly thoughtful about at the notion of the eyes being born with instead of being some sort of trick or spell or enchantment. Yeah, ha have him get his... back to me on that. Or, yeah, I'll uh, tell him, yeah, just get back to me. I'm quite curious. He gives a nod and agrees with you softly. And, uh... Goes off to do his own business. The rest for at some point through the day as well, you would be receiving a letter. Is it from a mostly naked guy uh, that just uh, runs up to me randomly, uh, freezes me in my tracks, and says, You! I've got a letter for you! Uh, it's somewhere around here. Ah, here you go. And then he just wanders around aimlessly in the uh, square until I leave the area. Some boots on, a loincloth, he's wearing a coif, and I think he's got some gloves on, but nothing else. <laughs> but yes, no, that absolutely happened. You, you have a new letter. It says it's from the council on the outside of the note. Alright, I will open it. Alright, you uh, break open the official sort of uh, wax seal. That seems to be of, you know, some, some respute. <laughs> And it seems to be a court summons. As your uh, notion for a Ministry of Magic has been uh, disputed by the Magical Order of Secrets and Enchantments. Or Moose, as it is written down. You said it's been disputed. Disputing your claim for it. So you have been summoned to have your side of it. Alright. I'll go deal with that. So as you come before this uh, council of, you know, mainly just townsfolk, uh, you see that there is, in fact, an actual moose. <laughs> Standing hey. in the uh, other sort of uh, main seat, he seems to be wearing a very, uh, say, flowery and somewhat pompous sort of. Uh, you would think it's uh, some sort of silk gown that's a nice purple. It's got a very, very. Uh, what's the word? Sort of, it's got a lot of the white ruffled like undershirt beneath the main coat. It's puffy in some areas, just you know, looking overly regal. Uh, the council then proceeds to inform you that uh, this individual has disputed your claim on the grounds of uh, they currently have trade rights to magical items in the area and they need to have a statement from you stating that you will do not implant you do not plan on uh, making any enchantments or making any sort of enchanted items without registering with them as they seem to be somewhat exclusive in the area with that kind of business all right we 
can uh, discuss that for sure. Nimbus gives a sort of nod to you. And then simply states that he retracts his dispute until further notice and moves off of the stand to go and speak with you. So any magical items that we develop, uh, you want access to. You're fading out and I can't. Oh my god. What is with you today, microphone? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna Has I'm it been gonna happening and... for anybody else? Yeah, it's not, been happening here too. Not to me. Like, you guys can hear it. I can hear you, but you fade out at the beginning and end of what you're saying. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Maybe that's the I... noise suppression that I have on, because I have noise suppression on. Yeah, I hear too. So maybe, maybe that's what that is. What if I. I'm just gonna turn noise suppression off. That'll fix it. It's not like I have a lot of noise going on in the background here anyways. That already sounds quite a bit better. Okay, so it's the noise suppression that Discord offers. Note to self, it sounds bad. <laughs> Discord thinks you're noise. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, I mean, I technically speaking. <laughs> um, it's noise. Right, so I'll have to like watch back the uh the stream today and see like how that made me sound to hopefully properly understand anyway <clears throat> yeah like i said about five minutes before the uh two hour mark on this recording yeah. that's where you'll hear it i shall find it easily uh. Uh, sorry anywho uh, the moose sort of sits down with you and goes, mm, yes. Well, not access to them. You see, we have a crafting trade and guild to ensure quality made with all of our items, as magical items crafted are an incredibly rare trait. As such, we have a very, very exclusive trade agreement. And we just do not want outside individuals stepping in on this trade agreement we have. So if you do not want any problems with us, you will agree to serve us under our main sort of guild or trade agreement, whatever you wish to call it. Uh, basically, all of your craft will first be inspected to shorts of the finest quality and uh, well necessary percentages will need to be paid out to ensure that you of course are selling these items in the benefit of our main sort of central guild and the guild will of course treat you properly And what percentage are you wanting? It will be variable depending on the magnitude of the magical items. To be fair, selling magical items at all is, well, as stated, incredibly rare. Of course, this is mainly for any items you're creating to be sold. We have no limits on magical items you have found or not created that if you wish to sell those, resell them, however you may do, that is of your own volition. It is mainly your craft we wish to keep on top of, if any of it wishes to be sold, that is. I have no plans to uh, sell any of the magic items that we create. Excellent, then. Then we have absolutely no qualms, as your business should not interfere with ours. Very good. 
He gives a soft nod. And, uh... Just makes himself scarce. He doesn't even, like, give a proper, like, good day. He just nods and walks off, seeming all too high and mighty. How rude. I'm not there, so that wasn't in character. <laughs> no, but you're right. It was rude. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was the last thing I had, given that, uh, as stated before, I was planning on a somewhat shorter thing today. That was... So you now have the Professor Shine Bright looking into the situation involving your quote-unquote doppelganger, though it's really an individual that looks a lot like you, potentially brother. As well as dealing uh, with maybe. some general... <laughs> As well as dealing with some general red tape uh, that involved the council as they continue to hopefully put some finishing touches on the Ministry of Magic. It appears for some odd reason there's a lot more red tape here, despite it being, you know, a monarchy. I guess it must be a representational monarchy. <laughs> Given that the council seems to be doing all the red tape and the monarch himself is just... What is he doing anyways? You don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, if that's it, then that's it. That is indeed for today. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening for uh, Tales of Mirror. Oh, we've got a minute 20 left on the uh, battle. And we'll start uh, well, we it early. Can... Oh, well, oh, I didn't need to start it early. I mean, it's not the greatest idea to do so unless we've got a huge number of people. But I think what we've got should be able to take it on. Oh, Zim, you doubt my ability to fill an entire minute with filler of me talking about random nonsense. After okay, all, I'm this is a D&D &D game. Damn it. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm and guessing from the noise. Iron it? Wolf, congratulations. And we'll start up more uh, battles in our next stream, because I will be back in just a few moments. Let me give these yeah. coins to Iron Wolf. I like how there's random battles. Like, what are you going to get from a random battle? It's a mystery one, and you don't know until you go in. I mean, yeah, but like, can you get like a boss level battle from yeah. a mystery? You want to get EXP? Presumably. You want to get EXP from it. All right, everybody. Double. Thank you all so much for joining us for this session of Tales of Mirrorleth Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we will be back next week with more of it. Uh, it will be a few minutes before I am back streaming again. I need to get some things uh, set up that I could not do while we were streaming. Namely, make sure that the game capture is working properly. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, check out our website, zgfgaming.com. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. And I bid you all a most fond adieu for now. Have a good night, guys. Hi, hey, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Uh, I'll see you all in just a few minutes.